All right, guys, the Tyler's Travels team found its way over to Casey to check out a brand new, uh, very creative, fun place called Sharp Creations where you can get your hands a little dirty if you want to, but get some very awesome custom pottery. Look at this. This is the kind of cereal bowl I need in my life. Imagine how many Cheerios I could put in this thing right here. Vinicius Sharp from Sharp Creations, one half of the Sharp Creations duo. We're talking about pottery this morning, and, and certainly this isn't anything new, but pottery's been around for a long time in the art of would, would you say potting? What would, you, what would the actual art be? Uh, clay art. It clay would, art. Yeah, just, just art of doing clay. Ceramics is the, right. the, the, the official term for it. It's 400 BC, is that when, is that what I understand, it kind yeah, of started emerging? Somewhere around in there. And truly, we don't know. We know that, that as soon as man discovered that clay could be put in a fire and made hard, right. they started using it. I guess I would ask how he learned that, but it, this goes right back to how they knew it would make fire and wheels uh, and all yeah. that stuff. It's just one of those things yeah. we know, right? Yeah. And yeah, they did coils and they did all kinds of things, right. and pinch pots. And what, what kind of stuff were, were the early uses then for pottery and things like that? Mostly vessels for carrying water. That was the okay. important thing. Was the, to get, they used to carry it in straw. Right. And then they would, now they found out that if they did something like this, they could carry water and it would allow them to get it further and, right. and to store it so they could keep it. H have the, now you're, you know, fast forward 100 BC, so you're talking fourth, 2000, you know, whatever my math is a bit fuzzy. Have, have the techniques changed terribly much since the days of old? Yes and no. Okay. The basics are still the same as far as you can still do coiling, you can still do... What's coiling? Coiling is when in Boy Scouts you rolled out and you made the snakes. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Okay, that's coiling. Okay. And then you take it and you coil it around and you, you, make, you build it up with coils. Okay. And um, the pinch pot, you just take a lump of clay and you just start pinching it out and you can right. make a vessel. Kind of like make it like a little pizza dough. Exactly. And then okay. you just, just form it up right. like a Play-Doh. Okay. Like play with Play-Doh. Like play play exactly. I mean, everybody's done clay. You, everybody grows up doing a form of clay right. of some sort. A little creative art. Exactly. All right. And then you, you know, now we have wheels, the, the old kick wheel. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have one leg bigger than the other because you kick, kick the wheel. <laughs> But the, the really thing that changed it is the invention of the motorized potter's wheel. Make it a little easier to it get that clay It makes it much out. easier to, to do that. Well, we're going to talk about your studio that opens tomorrow. Grand opening is actually tomorrow. I'm talking about this. It's kind of a cool little place here in Casey. But today we're going to learn about some of the tips from your husband, who's a bit of an expert in the, uh, the fine art of throwing clay, and uh, some of the tips you want to try it at home and some really cool things. We're going to get a little creative and fun this morning on Good Day Columbia. Do stay with us. We are coming back live and local from Casey on Tyler's Travels. Stay right here. Oh, I mean, seriously, this would be like... Can eat a salad out of this. Yeah. Like a little cup. It's a box. It's the box. Now, why they call yeah. a round vessel a box, I don't know. It's, that's, a, it's that's, a vessel? It, yeah, it's a ve all of these all are right. vessels. Uh, but they call it a box. It's a covered box. That's and you, really, and really you neat. Basically, you make a bowl and close in the top. Okay. And then, how, I mean, how do, you, how do you cut away and get the, get the top? I mean, how do well, you do what, once you close it in, then after it dries a little, you cut a little rim. You right. Cut a rim around the outside, and okay. then you go back and you cut it once you're cleaning it. Oh wow! That John, awesome. I'll show you how to do some cleaning of the bottom in a few minutes. That sounds good. That sounds good. I right, was going over here. Let's see. We got the the Holy Grail. Any Raiders of the Lost Ark fans? Mm -hmm. There you are. Noah being very apropos over the weekend. There we There's go. A little biblical movie there for you. Oh, this is kind of cool. I like these. This is really um. This kind of cool. I guess you drink a little wine out of there. Water and Absolutely. wine. Absolutely. Know what they say? Oh, I love this. Look at this. What kind of what kind of piece is this? That is a slabbed tile. A slabbed tile. Mm -hmm. It's got the hole so you can actually hang that up. These are more decorative things as well, but these, these things are really cool. They got some vases. How does one make that? That is done with a wiggle wire, um, and it's, it's just kind of cut on the edge of the clay, and it makes it, when you, when you put your fingers inside and start bowing it out, okay. it makes it curve. Wow. That is just, and the neat thing about this stuff is it's all very unique as well. There's nothing probably exactly the same. Right? It's very difficult well, like to make any too. two pieces the same. I like this bowl, too. This is very, very cool. Yeah, nice. So if I want a set of four of these, it would be difficult to get a set of four of these I exactly don't know if I could same, come right? up with four exactly the same. I could get close. But <laughs> Pretty close. This is cool. Now, what are the things you can use pottery for and some of these, some of these uh, items you can use? Well, obviously, everything that we make is, is food safe other than the raku. Um, there's, there is some raku pottery, but, but most everything is food safe. And this coffee is mug coffee mug, size. Coffee, coffee mugs are a big thing. That's right. You've got to have that morning cup of joe. Boy, you can just make everything. Pasta oh. bowls. Pasta bowl, salad bowl. This almost be like a flower jar, right? There you go. Canister sets. Very nice. Look at that. So you can make basically anything you want with uh, with pottery, and and I guess a bit of a creative eye. Yeah, as long as you don't try to force the clay. If you try to force the clay, it's like a willful child. The more you force it, the worse it's going to get. So it's not spare the rod, spoil the child. Kind uh, of thing absolutely. If you if you if it wants to, if you are gentle oh. with it and you try to malleate, it, it'll do it. But if you look if at this. you try to force it. 
That's kind of, he really can make just about anything he wants. It's like a ski, right? Is that, <laughs> I guess a plate. Skateboard. Skateboard. <laughs> Throw some wheels on there. Some there clay wheels. Mm. And it'd be just fine. This is some really, really interesting stuff that you can, uh, that you can make with clay. And the cool thing is you can actually, you can do it yourself a little bit too, right? Yes, absolutely. Something fun you can do. Yeah. Well, guys, we're talking about clay and a little bit of artistic flavor this morning. So if you're wondering, actually, remember that scene in Ghost? Remember that? You know, Patrick Swayze making the, well, we worry about the rest later. But, but that scene right there, we're going to be doing that, making some clay, making some cool stuff here at Sharp Creations in Casey opening tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, we thought we'd come on and get our hands a little dirty and show you some artistic work. Stay with us. Good day, Columbia is coming right back. Columbia, the Tyler's Travels team across the river in Casey at the new home of Sharp Creations, brand new uh, studio of art opening up tomorrow. John Sharp, half of the Sharp Creations duo here. It's hard to believe with Clay that this uh, fancy little bowl right here actually starts out as a ball of clay. Pretty interesting, John. So let's talk about how we uh, how we do that. You've already you've already got a jump start on me, but what are you doing there? Basically, centering the clay. Okay. So For, let's, start, let's start me out. So I got a I got a ball of clay. Once you get the ball of clay, you throw it right in the center. All right. Smack dab in the center. Done. And just kind of roll it around a little bit. Hit it a few times. What, right. am, I, what am I making, by the way? I don't know. What do you want to make? I don't know what I want to make. How about a cup? Let's go with a bowl. A bowl, bowl, very easy. A bowl is easy. All right. All right. right. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Got this. I got my gas pedal for my wheel. See my wheel. Uh, not so fast. Not so slow Ooh. down. You, All right, you, you, you definitely want to keep your foot on the pedal the whole time. All right. Just like uh, driving a car. Sure. Speeding up, slowing down. I hate cruise control all the time. All right, so I got this, John. What do I do now? Get a little bit of water. All right. Put it over top of it. How much is that enough? Uh, a little bit more than that. Okay. And just start the wheel, kind of slow at first. And what do I do? Pressure on it? What do I, what do, I do here? Pressure, whip both hands. Whip both hands. All right. Okay. And then I put pressure. <laughs> what do I do? What you'll do is you'll use one hand. Uh huh. To basically put pressure onto it. All right. I'm going to sew and try to spread it out a little bit. Oh, I see what's going on. Well, the big thing is you just want to get it in the center. Nope. Oh, a little too much gas. Yep. Now, do you have to have one of these fancy power wheels to do this? You want to try something? Oh, no. Something I've more? got a kick wheel out back. You want to try it later? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if my calves are big enough. All now, right. One of the things you have to do is kind of. So you're kind of cupping it, is what you're doing. Yeah, there's a lot of different techniques. Some people will judo chop it and right. just a whole bunch of other things. Okay. But the trick is to initially get it centered. All right, so you're going to make it dead center so it's all right there. All right, so we're going to keep doing that. And once thing. you get it centered, okay. then go ahead and get your hand wet again. All right, so it's centered. It looks good. All right. Put a little bit of water in the center. All right. Water and in just center. Start, start pushing down okay. with your finger. Pushing down like that. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's right. I keep, I keep forgetting you're left-handed. Only when I write. Well, I guess when I make clay, too. All I'm missing here is Demi okay. Moore, I guess. Yeah. Take one hand on the outside. Okay. And take and just push that one down. I'll push this down. Oop, I'm getting yep. stuck in the middle. Demi Moore water, I'm getting stuck. Yes, that's right. You need a little more water. All right. I just... This is killing my nails, by the way. And what you end up doing before it's over with right. is you're taking two fingers. Okay. Squeezing lightly. Okay. And coming up. And we're going to make a little bowl. All right, guys, we'll stick around. We're going to be making some clay. Uh, I'm not even sure what this is going to be ultimately, but it's going to be something fun. But uh, we're going to teach you how to do this stuff and have a little fun with clay, get a little dirty this morning, and practicing this art that has been around since 400 B.C. It's making history with that. With John Sharp here, Sharp Creations. In case you stay with us, we are coming back. I is not looking like Good day, Columbia. The Tyler's Travels team over in Casey at the uh, newly to be open tomorrow Sharp Creations pottery and all kinds of great things, photography, and it's really, really neat items making pottery since, well, 400 B.C. Not, not John Sharp, but, but almost. Anyway, so I've got, this is my second bowl, John, because my first one I destroyed. So now I'm, I'm using a sponge and I'm shaping this out. What is the sponge doing for me here? It just gives you a, a way to smooth it out as you're shaping it. Okay, I'm still pushing out, right? Pushing out and at the same time? Yep, and you're about done with that. Really? Yep. Just like that. So this one came out all right. The other one, not so much. All right, I got a little high spot in the middle. Does that matter? It's a little high. For my cereal. Is that going to be all right like that? I would say uh, let's leave that one alone. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Let, let's not mess with it. All right, so once we get the bowl kind of made, look, you've made a, an incredible little thing. Like, all right, seriously? I mean, I may have a little bowl envy here. I'm not going to lie. But <laughs> what is the next step? Or once you get this done, obviously, you know, you're going to kill it. But what does that mean? What happens now? Once you get this done, yours is perfect. Mine's as close as it's going to be. Well, after a few days of drying, you trim it. Okay. And the reason you want to trim it is this doesn't look too good right now. Right. And when you do your trimming, the trimming actually is going to help that pot pop, make it look a lot better. So you actually, how do you trim it down? Do you actually just take the rough edges off? I cheat a little bit. All right. Have a giffing grip. It's called a giffing grip? 
Well, some people call it a riffing grip. Okay. But there's no R in it. All right. But you take a series of tools. All right. And just basically start working it down. Oh, okay, so the clay is not hard yet then. It's still really soft. This is probably a little harder than it should have been. Okay. And this, okay. Has been, this has been out, what you said, a few days? It made this up uh, early yesterday. Okay. We've had the heater going in here, so it sucks out a lot of the uh, moisture. And that just kind of edges it down. It helps to make it pop. Okay. It really uh, adds to it. So once you get this done, when do you know, then the glaze, tell me the, the procedure, then, then you kill it? Well, once I finish this, right. I'll set it on another shelf, and I'll wait till it's bone dry. Okay. Uh, when you put it to your face, it shouldn't be cold. Right. Uh, after it's bone dry, I'll put it back in the kiln. Okay. And how long do you cook it for? It stays in our kiln about three days. Okay. It wow. Takes, it okay. takes about uh, 8 to 12 hours, depending on what we're going to fire it to. Okay. The first time we fire it, we fire kind of a low fire. We don't want it too hard or we want to absorb the glaze. Okay. Once we pull out the kiln, we actually take, there's about 16 different kind of glazes we have. Right. We'll run a piece of paper across the, the entire floor. And it's over those, all that those buckets right there, right? Right. And we'll take all those buckets, put on the paper. All right. We'll pick up one of the items and we'll say, this item needs to be. And we'll start putting in the glaze and off we go. And just like that, eventually it becomes a really cool bowl. It's good stuff. Working with the pottery here today, guys, live and uh, local in Casey. Up next, we're going to make like a little, uh, we're going to make a big, big, I don't know what it is. We're just going to do something. More, more fun. <laughs> we're going to get some more, we're going to platter. A platter is what we're doing here. Live here in Casey at Sharp Creations. Across the river at Sharp Creations Pottery and Photography. Just some really, really cool one-of-kind stuff you can't get anywhere else because it's made by this guy, John Sharp, and uh, Miss Venetia Sharp as well. We've been talking about clay, and I built some sort of bowl. <laughs> I don't really know what it's going to turn out to be. Uh, but anyway, that's going to go ahead and dry for a few days and get it done. But another cool thing you can do is, of course, you can make these great big serving platters as well, which is a neat thing. We're going to go ahead and try my hand at that. So this one's done. This is, you said it's one of your favorites. This is kind of cool. But I'm going to get a little tricky with mine today, guys. I'm actually going to add, and I don't, John, I don't know how to do this, but I want to add, this is one of the bowls you've done. But you've got, and you can probably see the texture, and it's like a 3D uh, uh, palmetto tree. Yeah, we make sprig moles. Sprig moles. Okay. We'll make a, a mole out of uh, wax. Okay. Then we'll put plaster over it. Right. Then we'll uh, basically take the clay. Okay, and that's what Venetia's doing right there. Right. She basically puts it in there and it makes that mold, huh? That's correct. Okay. And it'll make a imprint of it. And then All you right. basically put it on like an applique. Oh, so she's actually going to hand cut that right out. Yeah. Oh, neat. Okay, so, so basically, so what we've done is you get, the, get the, um, the clay down here. You've, you've used this press. You said this is a slab well, press? Well, this is a slab roller, large slab roller. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll take the clay. Right. From the ball, we'll put it between the cloth, and we'll keep rolling out till we get the thickness we want. Okay. And you just kind of roll it through, and it just comes out this big, long sheet right here. Right. right. And we had a mole here. That's what we use for our plates. Okay. And we make all of our molds here. So everything is, this is kind of cool that you do everything yourself, and, you know, mother being the uh, necessity of invention. Write that down, kids. Anyway, all right, so you put that in. So this is actually a mold, so I didn't have to spin this, thank gosh, because that would really have not been gone well. Yeah, it would be tough to spin that one. Right, okay. So get that in, I set it in, I, and I filled it out, and now I've got the bowl, and now I'm ready to go ahead and, and create on here. Draw whatever you want. Right. And when we're done drawing, we'll take one of the appliques, or sprig molds, and okay. put it wherever you want. Just like that. This is so cool. It's, I, I it's love that. It's that simple. How many of these do you think you make in a day? I mean, like, or say a week, I mean, these bowls. you make them to order, or do you make them, you just make them whatever feels, whatever you feel like doing that morning? Well, unfortunately, we're real undisciplined here. We kind of make what we want when we want. <laughs> All right. And if somebody wants it, we're happy to let them take it. So do you, like, wake up in the morning and go, you know what? It's a Monday. You know, it feels like coffee mugs today. Uh, yes. <laughs> coffee mugs are one of the great big, right. well, Those my wife calls bowls. it a dinosaur egg, but the thing down there at the end. All right. But uh, we just kind of make what we feel like making. That is cool. Hopefully once we do get established and right. people say we want X amount, well, we're going to sit down and make X amount. Like make 10 of these things. Yes. All right. Very good, guys. We're at uh, Sharp Creations. We're going to talk a little more with, uh, with John and Venetia Sharp here. I'm going to start creating myself in just a second here as we go to break. And we're going to come back and just uh, learn some more about them. Opening up tomorrow is a big day. We'll talk about that here in a few minutes as well. But certainly worth the trip over to Casey to meet John and Venetia. Just come in and, and look around and see some really cool stuff. So stay with us. We're going to come back. I've got my my tool out. I'm right. Look at this. Actually, this is a chopstick. That's all it is. Just a chopstick. Chopstick. There you go. <laughs> stay with. You think you have fancy tools to do this kind of stuff? No, just a chopstick. All right. Stay with us. We're coming back.
Coffee just tastes a little better when you know it was actually hand built and kilned and cooked and glazed local. In fact, in case, did you make this or did John, by the way? Uh, that was John's. Oh, this is good stuff. We're live here at uh, Sharp Creations. It's a new little art studio, a pottery studio, I guess you could say. It's art. Opening art and pottery and yeah. pictures and things. Opening tomorrow is your grand opening, actually, the first, right on, you're on yes. uh, Frank Street here in Casey. And all this morning, I've been learning about not only the history of pottery and throwing, throwing, throwing clay, right? Is mm -hmm. that, see That's that? It. Look what I'm learning there. Uh, but also some of the techniques you guys put together to make all these things. These are all things you've made. Um, but this is such a cool idea, and I'm really excited to have you here because this is all unique, handmade stuff. We have fun with it. This is really cool. Let's take a look at some of this. Some of the awesome. What is this? We talked about. What's this called? Riki, Ruki. What is this? Raku. 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 What is Raku exactly? Raku firing is when you actually bring a pot, a bisque pot that's been glazed up okay. to temperature in the kiln, and then you take it out of the kiln and reduce it in a trash can full of organic material. A trash can full of organic material, just just, just a mix yeah. of stuff. Yeah, and then all right, the glaze it burns off the metals and it brings out the metals, brings off it all, everything. It, it makes cool. it really shiny and sparkly and all kinds of. All things. right, so let's talk about you for a minute. So what okay. kind of stuff are folks be able to come when they come and see Sharp Creations? Are you going to offer? Any, what if I'm an idiot? Well, what if? <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> you know, will you teach somebody off the street? Can you, can you take orders? We'll so offer, what you're going to do? We will offer classes a couple of times a year. Okay. Uh, basically, we're a production studio because we have our stuff in galleries around the state. And right. Hopefully, I'm. Southeast, but we do photography. We do the pottery. Right. John does the metal sculpture. Oh, you guys, check this out. Check out here. Look up there. This is a sea turtle up here. Want to check that? I mean, you can see that up. This is something John actually made as well. I don't know if you can catch that or not, but that's really neat. It's a virtual aquarium in here. Of, of it really <laughs> is. In fact, if you look over this way, take a look at your right over here. There's like a shark. I don't know if you can catch that or not, but that's all metal uh, up there that he's created as well. So there's all kinds of random things. Yeah. Here uh, out of the creative minds of sharp, I guess sharp creations. There we that? go. We just come up with it. <laughs> we also are getting into a little bit of glass work, do bead work, and some okay. lamp working, and some sand, sand casting of glass. Right. Stuff. John originally got into all this stuff by blowing glass. So. He, wow. He got to the blowing glass, and then I was doing the pottery. And, 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 and by the way, and, and John may be, may be a little embarrassed by this, but um, John, for 20 years, served his country. He's in the Special Forces, and he, uh, he did his time and served his country. And so I think that another piece of that is a veteran-owned place is kind of a cool thing to me for, for a guy who gave everything and would have been willing to give everything should his We his tease him and tell him how the have mighty been. have fallen to go from a green beret to being a potter. <laughs> but, you know, you, what can we say? No, it's, uh, that's pretty he's, awesome. He's still I, wallowing in the mud. What can you I see that. Well, I do thank him for his service. 20 years to his country for sure, guys. But this is so cool. So tomorrow's a grand opening. You have a little party. What's, what's going on tomorrow? We've got a reception, opening reception tomorrow night from okay. 7 to 9. All right. And we want everybody to come as many as possible. This is great stuff. You can combine <laughs> orders and, and custom jobs and all that great stuff. All right. Brand new company, veteran owned, small little, little say mom and pop, but it really is. Kind of it like is a, mom, and a mom and pop. It's you and him making all this cool stuff. This is just so really neat. Thank you so much for sharing it uh, with us Thank today you. and allowing me to bust up that first one because that was awful. And I'm going to walk out before I break anything, because thankfully I've not broken anything today, which shocked me anyway, guys. Oh, you broke your plate. I did break, yes, I did that. Guys, we're going to put links at watch.com for you for Sharp Creations and also some cool stuff on pottery and things. If that's, uh, if that's your pleasure, you want to get into it. It's really kind of a neat thing to get in and get muddy and dirty, and you'll have it under your fingernails for like a week. Guys, stay with us. There's more Good Day Columbia on the way. I know I'm feeling creative.